Well, we just made another drop. Turned them down a logging path into a pine thicket. Haven't heard the dog bark, but hopefully they'll get one started. We'll just see what happens. Well, we walked down here to the end of one of these little roads. The dog was treated in there about 75 yards. Ain't a real good tree, but we'll go see what the deal is. The dog was treed. We had to walk around this little creek. The dog was treed directly ahead. Looks like they might be treating a den tree. Yeah, they got a den tree here. Got back to the truck. Two young dogs followed us out. This is Dreamer and his two sons, Copper and General. Been a pretty good hunt. Made two trees. One of them was questionable. The last one was a big den tree, or not a big den tree, but it had holes in it. Dog tree, young dog tree, pretty good on it. And this is my hunting buddy, David Pires. Um, he and I, I, I'm 72, and I believe David's about 71. And I reckon we're probably two of the oldest coon hunters in <laughs> eastern North Carolina. But we do we do have some fun hunting these old blue hounds. Well, blue tech all the way. Well, I hear you, boy. <laughs> uh, I'm asked the red button here. Yeah, okay. Um, we just got the dog loaded. Uh, I asked David to take a picture of me. My family always says, um, well, you don't never take a picture of you on your hunt because you're always video. But anyhow, David and I had a pretty good hunt this morning. We made two trees. It's kind of overcast here in eastern North Carolina. Good hunt. Made two trees. Didn't see no coons, but these daytime hunts, that's the way it is a lot of time. Anyhow, we really enjoyed hunting with David this morning. I said... Mash the butt.